So I know how much you guys love watching me book loads. So what I've done today is I've put together a full hour of me booking loads, different scenarios, different equipment, flatbed equipment, driving equipment, reefer equipment, me booking loads nonstop. I've stitched it all together for you guys out there. So there's a ton of inquiries on our dispatch course. And if you're enjoying these videos and you're looking to learn more about dispatching, you're able to take the course on the YouTube membership program. So all you have to do is press the join button in the membership and select the entrepreneur okay and that will give you access to the course and once you're done the course the reason why this course is so popular is because once you're done the course that you can downgrade your membership to the mentee membership and that's when you're gonna get invited to private sessions with me to ask everything that you need to about setting up your business or buying your first truck or dispatching and finding your first job so enjoy this one hour non-stop action video of me booking loads and let's get to it all right guys come book loads with me I got a truck in Cincinnati Ohio I got 18 skids for the driver the load went to Moncton New Brunswick it paid $3,800 so now I need to fill up this truck now if I have $3,800 now I see here on my load board that I have a load going from Dayton Ohio going to Moncton New Brunswick okay so it's five skids now I really need about $1,500 to make this work and I'll be a very very happy guy so if I can't pick up on my way, so from Cincinnati, if I can't pick up anything on my way, I'll have to come to Toronto and then I'll pick up some loads from there going all the way to Moncton, New Brunswick. But I prefer to pick up from the US as those loads pay a little bit better. So join me on this phone call to the broker. Hopefully we can nail these five skids. Good morning, Michael Seaton. Good morning, Ronan here, ET Transport, how are you? I'm good, how's it going? Good, good. I was calling about those five skids you had out of uh, Dayton, Ohio, going to Moncton. Yes, it's actually going to Hardwood Lands, Nova Scotia, it's on the way to Halifax. Um, they're five skids, they're roughly around 11,500 pounds and the dims for each skidder is 42 by 34 by 25. Oh, so they're much smaller skids, right? Yeah. Got it, so it's five skids, what's the weight? 11,500. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, they're a little bit overweight. Let me just see the weight that I have inside my trailer. I have 22,000 pounds. Okay, no, we're good with the weight. Um, what are you looking to move it for? Um, I want to move it, I'd be good at 18, 1800. 1800 for 11,500 pounds? Yeah. Oh, that's a little, uh, I'm going to need a lot more than that. I probably need about 2450. 24. How, how close can you get to 2000? Um, what's the hours for the shipper and, wh and how does the receiver work? There's no, uh, no appointments are needed. The hours are standard for both is nine to three. Nine to three? What are they on holiday hours? <laughs> Um, I, I can maybe pull, maybe pull like an extra hour here or there, but they said nine to three. Got it. Okay. Dayton, Ohio, I could be there today before three o'clock for sure. And then nine to three is fine on the receiving end. So it's first come first serve or by appointment? First come first serve. Okay, good. 23, 25 is probably the best I could do. Can we settle for 20, 21? All right, hold on, let me put you on hold one second. All right, even if he gives me 2100, 2100 plus my $3,800, I'm already way on top of the game. So 3800 plus 2100 is $5,900, and I have a total of 1,581 miles, which will give me $3.73 per mile. So I'm already good with that. Let's see if we can get another 100 bucks out of him just to have fun together. All right, I ran the miles. Um, 2225, that's the best I could do. Okay, yeah, let's do 22, that's fine with me. 2225. 2225, let's do 22, even numbers. Even numbers, all right, no problem. No problem. That's good? Yeah, that's fine. All, all right, right send over the confirmation, point. dispatch at ettransport.ca, and I'll grab it today before three o'clock. Okay, sounds good, I'm gonna do that right now. Bye. Okay, so I got $3,800 for my original 18 skids. All right, so I just needed a little bit more to top it up. $3,800 is not enough for me, so either I pick up some freight from the US or going into New Brunswick, or I pick up some freight from the GTA. Again, I prefer to pick up freight from the US, so I got another $2,200. So if I take my $2,200 and I add my $3,800, I got $6,000. $6,000, and I divide that by 1,581, $3.79 per mile. I haven't seen these numbers in a while. I'm very, very happy for it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. How much more money do you have for the roll tight? Center speaking. Hey, Ronan ET, how are you? Hey, good, Ronan. How's it going? Good, good. Calling about that Morrisville, North Carolina for, to Fredericton, New Brunswick. Yeah, I got uh, 19 feet. It's a couple pieces of machinery. What kind of trailer do you have? I have a 53-foot tri-van. Okay. I would need it to be blocked and braced, if you'll look that. Uh, what are they using to block and brace it? Like straps, or are they actually going to hammer down into the floors? Yeah, it would have to be like a wood floor. They'd have to, like, block it in the okay. ground. Okay. 
Now, I also see that you can load a roll tight, is that correct? That is correct. I would prefer to load a roll tight. How much more money do you have for the roll tight? That's a great question. Let me find my sheets here. I've had this up for a couple days. Roll tights are hard to come by. They are when you're not calling the right people. 2500 bucks. To New Brunswick? Yeah. Is that bad? Sounds pretty good. 1200 miles? No. That's low. Um, where's one? I can try to put it. Now, can it be transloaded, though? Uh, it's a sweeper, so I'd have to. I'd have to ask. You're gonna like cross talk it in Ontario, yeah? Yes. If it's in the yeah. drive in, yes. Uh, there's not enough money for the roll tight to go straight. What would you want for the roll tight? For the roll tight, I have one there on Thursday. You're probably looking more about 3400 We can get a little bit more out of him, but okay, let me, I'll call him, ask him both questions if I, if he's got a little more in the budget. And then if not, if I can cross dock it, if he yeah. would be. What's okay your, with that. Um, okay. What's your email address? I'll send you an email. It's the letter K and then. Okay, I'll send you a recap for this email. And then if you could just let me know, either we can tra uh, transload it or uh, if you have more money. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Sounds good, thanks. All right, so why do I need more money? So definitely a roll tight costs a lot more. For 19 feet, I probably need a little bit more than what she's offering. But in order to put it in a dry van, if I cannot transload it, that means that you know it's gonna have to go into the nose and that's the way it's going to deliver. And I still think that her rate is a little bit short. Now, if I can cross dock it, here in the GTA, then it would help me out a lot because then I can bring it here and then we can offload it and load it. Now, if they are nailing this stuff down and it is floor loaded, you kind of want a little bit more money. You want to make it worth your while. All right, so the reason why it's more expensive for a roll tight, roll tights are approximately $100,000, okay? And there's a lot less carriers doing roll tights than there are carriers doing dry vans. Now, the destination is also very, very tricky. Not a lot of carriers go into New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PEI, which means that you can charge a little bit more. Now, also, there's freight going there. There's not a lot of stuff coming out of there. Um, so you have to charge accordingly. So if I get $34.50 from her on this LTL, if I'm gonna add another three, dollars $4,000, that gives me $7,000 run, then it's worth my while to go there in a roll tight. If I do it in a dry van, I'm probably gonna need about $5,000, maybe $4,500 to go all the way to New Brunswick. So I recapped her the email. We'll see what she gets back to us. You probably won't see her response to it, but in most situations, it is hard to find a carrier, especially servicing the New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PEI, and that's where we come in. So I'm almost certain that I'm gonna win this freight. Maybe I will do a part two of this. Hello, Ronan speaking. Hey, Ronan. My name is Justin. I'm calling from Logistics. I wanted to know if you guys had any flatbeds uh, available for a pickup today. From where to where? I got a pickup in Everett, Massachusetts, going down to Plattsburgh. Everett, Massachusetts, going where? To Plattsburgh, New York. Got it. Found it. Okay, Plattsburgh, New York, Everett, Massachusetts. You guys run that lane? Um, I got assets in Montreal, so it's only, uh, I don't know, 40 miles crossing the border. Uh, tell me about the freight. What is it? Uh, dude, it's just straightforward. 35 feet of trailer, steel beams, no tarping, uh, flatbed, roll tight, step deck, anything works. What's the weight? 20,000 pound, 20, pounds. When do they want to pick it up and deliver it? Well, as soon as possible. <laughs> Today, oh. preferably. Dave, give me one second. All right, if I can make this thing happen today, I'm getting a lot of money from him. Let's see what we can do. What does this usually What does this usually pay this lane? Dude, usually I have USD carriers. They run it at about like a thousand to a thousand two. Max I can go on it is like a thousand four USD. And it's it's not it's not a long haul. It's about four hours. Fourteen hundred dollars is what you can pay on this. Yeah, like I said, usually I pay interstate carriers about a thousand, but the max I could go is fourteen on it. Honestly, to make this work, I probably need about eighteen hundred. Canadian. No, U.S. U.S. Well, dude, it's 316 miles. You need 18, you said? Yeah. Uh, but don't forget, I got to cross the border, right? If I was in the U.S. You're, you're running your driver dead into Everett? Oh, sorry. It's Everett to Plattsburgh. Yeah, Everett, Massachusetts to Plattsburgh. It's about 316 miles to 5 hour and 20 minute drive. And they only want to pick it up today or tomorrow? Most likely. Listen, the way it's looking right now, it's going to be a Monday pickup but if you have someone available on Monday too, that could work. Can you make 17 work? Let me call the customer. I'll call you back, what's your extension? Just email dispatch at ettransport.ca. Okay, no problem, man. Okay. Yo, you're the guy from the TikToks, eh? Yeah, I am. Yeah, you're really popular, bro. My whole office watches you. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you something, I gotta be honest. Yeah. You caught me right in the middle of filming, so I decided to film you. No way. Yeah. Could, could you actually tag me in it? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll tag you in it. We, we do like a green onboarding program uh, where we train new sales guys and stuff. 
And uh, a lot of the time, brother, to make them understand how this industry works, I actually show them your videos. Yeah. Just so they understand, like, it, they're not just focused on sell, 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 and they understand somewhat of the operation standpoint. It, yeah. was, uh, it was fucking funny, actually. Thanks, brother. It was nice Thanks. talking to you, man. Likewise, likewise. Thank you. Yeah. All right, my friend, we call it a mazal, send it over. All right, guys, it's 1 p.m. and I got a driver that's gonna be empty in Chicago. So I'd like to get a, uh, a reload probably around 15, 20 miles away from him. The rates right now are currently anywhere between 16 to $1,700, but I do see a posting here. Let's give it a call together and let's see if I can make this thing work. I'm gonna try to maximize the profits on it. So I'm gonna try to negotiate for everything that I can. Some brokers will play hardball. Some brokers will just give you everything they got at the beginning. But let's see how this call goes. Good afternoon, how can I help you? Hi, Ronan here, ET Transport, how are you? Not bad, not bad. Uh, this is Sean. How can I help? Uh, calling about that Chicago, sorry, Joliet, Illinois to uh, Brampton, Mississauga. Joliet, Illinois to Mississauga. It needs to be a dry van. Uh, it's 25,000 pounds and it's non transferable. Is this something that you can do for us? And it has to be in a dry van. Uh, I have a dry van, uh, non transferable. Um, it's floor loaded stuff? Uh, no, but it, we don't want it to be transported on any other equipment because of uh, insurance purposes. Okay, what's the commodity? Uh, the commodity is uh, exercise equipment. Oh, okay, good. Um, when does it need to deliver in Mississauga? Um, within uh, one to two business days, if that's on your end, uh, we need somebody that can actually make it, uh, a strict appointment. No problem. Uh, last time I did fitness equipment, they needed to bolt down things onto my trailer. Are they going to be hammering anything or bolting anything down to my the wooden floors? Yeah, as long as it's a wooden floor, what we'll do is we won't go, we won't screw anything in, but we'll use uh, easily removed nails just to keep stuff in place from shifting. Got it. Okay, great. Um, all right, so I got a truck that I could pick up today. What time are they open until? They're open until 3, 3.30, the latest. Got it, got it, okay. Um, can you uh, can you make 2400 work? Uh, 24 is a, a little bit uh, far away from where I need to be. Can you do about, let's say, 18? 18? Uh, no, non-transferable. They wanna nail things down to the wood. Uh, you gotta do a little bit better than that. I could do one pick, one drop for $1,800. This is a little bit more intense. Okay, how about 1900? Let's see if we can meet there. Does that work for you? Buddy, give me 21. 21 and we call him Mazal. Okay, let's call it a day because the max I have available on this because I really need to get it moved is 2000. Can you do it? 2000. Give me just one second, okay? Hold on. Hold on. All right, guys. Today's rate from Illinois to the GTA is about $1,700, $1,700. Because this is floor-loaded stuff, because it's non-transferable, and because they're going to be nailing things down to the wood, I'm going to try to get a little bit from him. 2000 is a really good rate, and we will call it a day. All right, my friend, we call it a mazal. Send it over. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll send it over to your email in two minutes. Yeah, dispatch at ettransport.ca. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right, $2,000, we have Chicago to Joliet to Mississauga, it's 564 miles. We're looking at $3.54 per mile, not bad at all, okay? All right, guys, I got a truck in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'd like to get him back down as close as I can to our Atlanta terminal, so I'm looking for a load from Pittsburgh going into Atlanta, Georgia. So my actual goal is to get anywhere between $2.45 per mile to $2.65 per mile, so let's make some calls together. Hey, Ronan E.T., how are you? I'm um, good, how are you? Good, good. Calling about that fountain in South Carolina out of Akron? Sure. And you know it's a drop trailer. I saw that in the comments, yes. So it's two to three business day drop trailer at the receiver? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We got one today and one tomorrow. You want the one today? No. Today up no, the one for tomorrow. Okay, sorry. I was trying to give you the one today. <laughs> All right, that one picks up at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and then it drops at Fountain Inn there at Granger before midnight on the 10th. You can drop the trailer though at any time. The drop yard's always open. So as soon as you get to Fountain Inn, you can drop the trailer. Up to 42,000 pounds, softener salt, clean dry pallet load, and I got a rate of 1,300 on it. 1,300? Yes, sir. Give me one second, let me just see. Sure. Divide that by 743. $1.74 per mile with my empty miles. Um, you guys got wiggle room on that loan? Thirteen twenty-eight and three cents. <laughs> Everything I got. Thirteen twenty-eight. Uh, I'm taking you right there. Dollar seventy-eight. No, unfortunately, I got too many dead miles. I can't make this work. But I appreciate your time. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys, let's make some money together. How the f 
Do you book a load? Well, watch me. Let's do it together. I'm calling about a posted load that you have going to Cutstown, Pennsylvania out of Atlanta. Yep, I still got it here. Yeah, I got a driver that's able to pick it up today before five o'clock. Delivery after tomorrow. What kind of rate are you looking for? $28.50. I'm at $22.50. Can you make that work? We're about $600 off. Yeah, market is bad right now, man. I know, but our trucks doesn't don't run on water, right? I completely understand, but customers, they don't really care, man. They're being very <laughs> tight on the rate. Any way you can beat me in the middle? at 2450 2350 we got a deal no i need to be at 2550 minimum unfortunately i can't do 2550 on a man give me five minutes let me give you a call back all right let's see if we can milk out that 75 dollars from him to get our rate at 3.17 per mile hey i i uh, talked to the driver we're all good i could pick up today before five i just need an extra 75 bucks 24.75 send it over my way all right let's do it three dollars and 17 cents per mile i'm really happy with that what do you guys think of it Two thousand pounds. Hey, good morning. How, how... Hi, Ronan Et. How are you? Oh, how are you? Good, good. I'm calling about the Lafayette, Georgia. To where? Uh, sorry, going to Fraser, Michigan. Sure. Did you see the details in there? Uh, I do. Yeah, thirty-two thousand pounds skidded plastic and delivery into Tucumcel. Oh, that. I... Oh, so there's two deliveries. Three deliveries. One delivery in Tucumcel and two deliveries in the same city, Fraser, Michigan. Okay. Yeah. So one pickup, three stops. The total trip is 702 miles, 702. Okay. Okay. I got it. Can you do that? Um, I could. When is the pickup? It picks up to the, uh, tomorrow. Delivers um, by Thursday. Good for Thursday. Okay. Uh, what do you got for rate? The best rate is $1,150. No, with three deliveries, come on, man. That's a dollar forty-three a mile for me on my end. Okay. I mean, I get one pick, one drop all, all day long for a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty. I don't have really a a lot of wiggle room. Got it. Uh, I, I I know you're not believing this, but I can only do like fifty dollars more. I'm I'm not the owner of this freight. Yeah. You let me. Understand. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, no, I can't run for. Uh, for these rates but thank you so much for your time for 12 i can do 12 that's what i'm that's what i'm saying what are you looking for 49 probably looking more about 1750 1800 all right but you but you saw the rate posted right it wasn't hidden or something no no, no you're right i mean so i still you, you know how many times i've posted rates and i, I still call and i get three four hundred dollars more it doesn't mean anything posted rates no, 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 um, no, it's just a question because I, I thought you didn't see the rate. Got it. No, I did, you know, I did from, see the rate. From 11.50, okay, I get it now. It's just, it's just that from 11.50 to 17, it's a, it's a lot of money, right? It's about $550. That's about that's about 40% of the entire load. You know, I don't yeah. I don't have the ability to do that. I can do 1200 Yeah, no, the, want... I, 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 I didn't pay attention to Tucumcel. So there's three deliveries. So. Uh, all right. But Sorry about that. Well, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling Kirsch. Please hold while we direct you to an agent shortly. Thank you. Hello, this is Colton with Kirsch. How can I help you? Hi, Ronan ET. How's it going? Doing pretty good. How about you? Good, good. Calling about that Green Bay, Wisconsin going into Chester, Pennsylvania. All right. Um, loads up on Friday at 1 p.m. in Green Bay. Yep. Yep, loads at 1 p.m. on Friday, and then it delivers Monday at 10 a.m. in Chester, PA. Okay. That works for you? Yeah, that works. Perfect. Um, weighs about 44,000 pounds. It's a load of paper products, so I do need a clean drive-in in here. I can't have a reefer. Okay. So drive-in only, right? Yep, drive-in only. And then that one I have posted for 2400 Are they flexible at all with the rate? Um, mm -hmm. This one I could do like 2550 for you. Got it. My truck is an Appleton. Give me one second. It's about 25 miles away from me going to Green Bay, going to Chester. What's the max? 2550 is the max you could do? Yep. Okay. Take that by 1,009 miles. $2.52 per mile. Okay, give me two minutes. I'll uh, I'll give you a call back. Okay. All right. So it's Friday, right? Pickup. Is there a, is there a pickup appointment or it's first come? Um, yeah, it picks up Friday at 1 p.m. That's the appointment. You can always go there early too, but that's our appointment there. And what about the delivery also by appointment? Yep. 10 a.m. on Monday. Got it. Okay. Let me see what I can do. I'll call you back. Awesome. I appreciate it. Bye. All right. So the reason I didn't book this load is because I want to see if there's anything else. Why do I want to see if anything else? Because both the shipper and the receiver have an appointment. I usually like one of them at least by appointment, the other one to be first come, first serve. So let's continue with my search. So that gave me $2.00. 
$7.52 cents per mile. Let's see if I can get a little bit better with the rate per mile. All right, guys, I just booked a load from Chicago, Illinois to Moncton, New Brunswick. It paid me $4,500. Driver picked up the load, and guess what? Just to my luck, it's 25 feet. So I still have more space inside that trailer. Let's make a phone call. I'm going to call on this. Right now, I'm looking at 20-something feet from Romeoville, Illinois, going down east. Let's give a call together and see if I can book this load. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Ronan here, ET Transport. How are you? Uh, good, good. I see you're posting uh, LTL going from sh from Romeoville, going down east. Yeah, um, yep. it is 13 skids, taking up 28 linear feet. Um, the commodity is auto parts. Okay. Total weight is 21,329 pounds. It can be loaded into a dry van or a reefer. What do you need for this? Um, where is it going? It's going to St. John's, New Brunswick by appointment delivery. Give me just 30 seconds. I'm going to put you actually give me 10 seconds. I'm just going to put you on hold. Okay. Yep. All right, guys. And I'll, in all honesty, I probably need about $2,000, $2,200. I really don't care. I got $4,500. Anything on top is just free money for me. So let's see how much we can get out of her. Okay. $2,000, $2,200 is what I need. Um, tell me, are you able to, um, to get me uh 28? 28? Yeah. No, I'm looking at being about $2 per mile. There's no way I could do 28. $2 per mile. Yeah. Uh, so what are you looking at? 22, 23? I can't, I can't, I can't do it for that cheap. Come on, help me out a little bit. This is LTL. How are you going to move this? Pull I move this on a weekly basis. I have a direct customer out there. Really? I've seen this posting already for uh, most of the day and it's not moving. No, I do m multiple shipments a week. It's very easy. I have like escalation for the customs broker. So there will be no wait at the border for clearing. All right. So how close can you get me to the 3000? Uh, the closest I can do is 26. 26? Yeah. Can you throw another two hundred dollars there? No, I can't do two hundred. Can you pick up today? We um, the shipper closes between seven and eight. If you can pick up between before seven or eight tonight, I can do twenty seven max. Okay, okay, I can pick up. Yep. I uh, what do I got? How many miles? Chicago to Romeoville. You are looking at yeah, thirty one miles. I can pick it up within the next couple of hours. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have an ETA? Can you send me an ETA when I send you over the rate contact? The second I, I the contact? second I get your uh, your confirmation, I'll send you a tracker, and then you'll be able to track this thing. Okay, great. And which email am I sending it to? Um, you can send it to dispatch at ettransport.ca. And please remember, anything going down east, anything going to the Maritimes, okay, I'm your guy. LTL, okay. full loads, whatever you got. Okay. And what's your what's your direct email for the Maritimes? We have an email address, maritimes at ettransport.ca also. Okay, so I'll send it to dispatch in Maritimes, okay? But Can you send it to me now? Yep, yeah, I'll send it right over. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so just to explain what happened. So, Romeoville, Illinois is going to, where did she say that this load was going? St. John, New Brunswick, and I have my load that's going to Monk and New Brunswick. All right, guys, so check this out. Here it is. Okay, so I have my truck in Chicago. I'm picking up for $4,500. Then I'm going to Romeoville, Illinois, picking that up for $2,700. Okay, just so we could do the math together. $4,500 plus $4,500 plus $2,700 is equal to $7,200. Divide that by 1,601 miles. Congratulations, we did $4.49 per mile. This stuff is unheard of. I just got really lucky. The original load that I booked was $4,500. Divide that by about 1,600 miles. It was two. 2.8 per mile going to the Maritimes, okay? But because the load was so light, so when I was booking the load, I saw that it was only about 18,000 pounds. I automatically assumed that there's going to be room in there. Now, if there's going to be room in there, then I would most likely either bring it to the GTA here and then take some more LTL going. Or in this case, I got really lucky where I found the LTL going from literally from Romeoville, which is 30 miles away from Chicago. So my driver's going to pick up in Chicago, we'll go to Romeoville, and here we go. I got $7,200. Finally, something good that has come out this week usually it's not that good i think we all know what the freight rates are like right now but i'm gonna get this confirmation driver's gonna be happy i'm gonna be really happy and we have two deliveries now we need to make down east one of them is in moncton the other one is in st john so st john is a little bit further than moncton yes it created a little bit more miles but definitely worth the 2700 dollars. thank you for calling jb hunt transport calls may be monitored and recorded for quality purposes for more information please go to jbhunt.com privacy Press 1 for available loads. Press 2 to... Your call is being routed to the next available agent. Joe for Hunt. Hi, calling for extension 55165. This is he. How can I help you? I'm calling about a load going from Mulsini, Wisconsin, going to Quakerstown, Pennsylvania. Tell me that your driver is in Mosney, man. How far is your driver from Mosney right oh, now? Uh, I have an Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Okay, Appleton, Wisconsin. Oof. 89 miles away. 
89 miles away. Um, so this load needed to pick up at 2 o'clock, but I think I can get them to stay for you, man. If we're, if we're good on that rate, that rate you see on DAT is where I need to be, man. What do you think? 24,000 is what I see on DAT. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you pick my load up? For $24,000? Yes, I can pick up your load because that's what No, 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 no. Drop a zero. I'm sorry. That didn't come in my error. So I'm looking at the at 2400 man. 24888 is what it said. Okay, 20 now. I get it. Okay. Definitely caught my eye at 24000 I know. That's why I did that. Ah, I get it. Okay, 24. Hold on one second. 24888 $1,100. dollars that's 226 a mile. No, man, we're far, we're very far off. What are you looking for? I got loads coming out of Appleton for 2,500 bucks. So if I have to go 100 miles west and 100 miles east, that's at least an extra four or five hundred bucks. Me, me, 2,665 or something like that. More like 3,280. All right, man. I'm just trying to um, make my customer happy. They're mad, man. We we just missed this pickup, so I, I won't be able to pay you that much. I hear, I hear. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. $24,888 is what he was posting on this load. Uh, that's over That's over $20, $22 a mile. So hell yeah, I would jump all over that. Now, before I get started with my phone calling, I wanna make sure that all of you have this option out there. Click to dial, okay? These phones here are a thing of the past. People don't use them anymore, okay? If you're a dispatcher and you're not using click to dial, you're really wasting a ton of time, okay? The, our entire office, over 40 people are on click to dial and the way that it works, you just hover over a phone number, click it, and just like you see over here, which I'm gonna make this phone call over here, Ryan Transportation, I see, I hover over the phone number, I click and the phone rings automatically, all right? So there's no more dialing, there's no more pulling out the phone numbers, making a mistake, an error in the number. Now over here, I have my 3CX, which is the phone company that I'm using, and I have a, cl a click to dial option. So whenever I see a phone number here on one of these, uh, whenever I'm calling on a load, I just click the phone number and right away my phone dials. All right, guys, I have a guy in Atlanta, Georgia, laid over from yesterday. The driver's eating my brain already, okay? He's gotta get out of there, he's gotta get home. Let's see if I can book a load. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, you? Yeah. Good, Ronan here, AT Transport. What can I help you with? I see you're posting a load from Atlanta going into Milton. Yeah, it's one pick, one drop. Picks up tomorrow on the 3rd. Must deliver on the 6th by appointment. What read do you need on this? Um, I really need your help. I really need this load. Do you think you can... Uh, Please hold. Please hold. This is what I'm dealing with. This is really what I'm dealing with. Hello? Yeah, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Is there any way to pick up today? No, it's only for pickup tomorrow. It's only for pickup tomorrow. Great. Okay, so uh, full truck load. Can you tell me a little bit more about the freight? It's dry freight. It weighs 27,000 pounds. Pick up today. Deliver Monday by appointment. Please hold. This is horrible. This is what I'm dealing with. What read do you need for this? Um, honestly, what do you? What can you pay me? I really need this load, so just throw something at me. Um, I'm getting multiple calls for I. The lowest I've had is 13. And the highest is 14. 1300. That's a dollar 30 per mile. Come on, man. My truck doesn't run on water. I need your help. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's a Friday. You know how many trucks get stuck in Atlanta? Please hold. This is what I'm dealing with. So can you do this for 13? No, I can't. Madam, I promise you that once the, the once the situation changes, I'll owe you a favor. I really need your help, but I can't do anything Listen, less. Listen, everybody's been saying that nowadays. You know, with the rates, they promise you this, they promise you that. Oh, please hold. So do you want to take this for 13? No, I can't take it for 13. But listen, do you really want to send it to a carrier that's going to double broker your freight? I mean, who can who can do this load for 1300 bucks? Nobody. It'll He will be paying you to move your load. Listen, with and the I can assure nowadays, you, those, those carriers are not going to be there when, once everything turns around. I will be there when things turn around. So why don't you help me out on this load and I'm going to help you out in the future when you're going to get stuck with these loads. No, unfortunately I can't. The highest I can go to is 14. Come on, 14, that's a dollar 40 a mile. I need a little bit more. Do you know who we are? Come on, it's ET Transport. It's not some Mickey Mouse operation. In the past, but exactly. With the nowadays, you really want to work with on. somebody with a brand new MC? I'll give you a tracker. You'll be able to track this whole shipment all the way to the delivery. Listen, I wish I could, but with the rates nowadays, 14 is the highest. See what you can do. Come on. I know your lines are blowing up. I know that you have a million give and one options. Give me one second. Hold on. Please hold. All right, we got to get this 15 out of her. 15 out of her. So she 
you really want to take a risk and have somebody double broker freight? So, what time is your driver empty tomorrow? My driver is my driver is empty today. He'll even he'll have to stay there until tomorrow. First thing in the morning, we'll pick up. So, Ronan, we've done business in the past. I know we have. Check out my Google reviews. Just have a look, okay? I want to see. I will. Those, you know, those, we've worked those, together. Exactly. Those carriers you know what? that are going to do it for one 13. Time, yes. I'll do it for you for 15. You're the best. That's Thank the you highest so I can go. Thank you very much. If you could just send it to dispatch at ettransport.ca. Ronan, please don't disappoint me. I won't. Dis you need I ever... to help me when things switch around. My okay? Google reviews don't disappoint anybody. You could just read it for yourself. I'm number one, top-notch carrier right here. Okay, Ronan, I'm gonna send it over. Uh, once I send it over, let me know when you want the delivery appointment for on Monday. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Guys, I know that she has a million and one options. Her lines are blowing up. I, I know that for a fact. Now, the only reason that I got this load is number one is because of the reputation that we have. And number two, you know, she can probably sense the disparity and maybe, maybe, maybe just one day she's going to need a favor down in the future. Okay. The market that we're in is going to change eventually. When is it going to change? I have no clue. Whether it's now, whether it's in a month and two months, three months, four months, but it will change. And she's going to be on the other end. And she's going to remind me of this phone call of when she helped me out. And I'm going to remember that she helped me out when the times were tough and that next time when there's an auction for my truck when there's going to be hundreds of loads for every one truck just like we saw two years ago and last year she's going to be asking me for a favor and this is how our industry works so hopefully you learned something from this video i gotta go cry outside right now because of the rate that i just took but all right guys great news i just booked the full load going from louisville kentucky going to montreal quebec driver gets to the pickup picks up a load and he has room for six kids so now let's get on these load boards we're going to try to book an ltl from the closest point in louisville kentucky going to the closest point to montreal quebec now my original load my full load paid me 26.50 so anything on top of that is gravy so i did find a posting going from sharonville ohio going into andrew quebec sharonville ohio is 115 miles in the direction of me driving home okay and it is posted going into montreal quebec which is where my original load is going now if i get a thousand dollars for this load i will consider myself a very happy camp because if I pick up this load, it doesn't add any additional miles. 36, if I get 36.50 and divide that by 927 miles, that means I'm driving for $3.93 per mile, which is a dream in today's industry. All right, so anything close to about a thousand will consider me a very, very happy person and my driver will be extremely happy. So let's give them a call. Hello. Bonjour, comment ça va? Hi, how are you? Good, you speak French? Pardon me? You speak French? No, 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 English, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Listen, you're posting a load, LTL, four skids going from Sharonville, Ohio to Montreal. Yes, yes, this is a regular lane. Um, It is very time sensitive and also it's a heated service. We have to make sure that it's protect from freeze. Do you have a heater or a reefer? Well, you are just in luck. I do have a heater. Okay, 70 Fahrenheit. 70. Fahrenheit. What is that in Celsius? Hold on. 70 in Fahrenheit. Hold on. No worries. 21 degrees Celsius. Damn. What are they putting it in a sauna? Pretty much. So it's four skids, 901 per skid. It comes out to 3605. Hold on. Let me just check if I have a reefer or a um, a heater there, because I don't think a heater can go up that high. Are you sure it's Are you sure it's it's 70 and not 40? It's 70 Fahrenheit. Okay, hold on. Let me just check. All right, yeah, I got a heater. Sorry, I got a reefer there, so I could do it. When does it need to deliver? Um, this needs to deliver by appointment on the 19th. It picks up on the 16th. Protect from freeze. Four skids. 901 per skid. Total of 3605. Standard 48 by 40 by 60. Give me just one second, okay? Hold on. All right, guys, I am going to destroy her right now. There's three key words that I heard. Number one, protect and freeze. Well, it's not protect and freeze, it's actually Celsius. And it appears to be 70 Fahrenheit is like a, is like a sauna. The second thing I heard from her is time sensitive. Okay, that's another big money-making machine. And the third thing I can see that she's been posting this load for two days and she cannot move it. Okay, so I basically have her. Let's see what I can do. Now, originally I wanted $1,000. Now I'm going up to about 1500 bucks, but I'll try to even milk out a little bit more. Let's see how this conversation goes. Okay, madam, I just ran the miles. Mm -hmm. It's about 250 miles off course for me. In order for me to do this, I'm probably getting about 2800. 2800? Yeah. Oh, come on. Listen. For four skids? It's not four skids. It's moving him like a full load. Come on, you're not going to find an LTL carrier to move this sauna shipment of yours. Listen, I have a rate of 23. If you need 28, what about 25? Can we meet there? Honestly, 25. Give me a little more. Come on. You're getting a steal. 2501. Ah, come on, 2501. You want to hold on to the shipment for another two days? Or you want to look like a superstar next to your customer? Okay, so 
no fail. You're not going to mess up the product. It's going to maintain continuous at 70. Yes, yes. The, the, the uh, reefer I have, I'm going to turn it on to your 21 degrees Celsius, 70 Fahrenheit. I just need more money. I got to make, gotta make, it has to make sense for my driver and for me. 25.50. No, 28. I'll do 26 max. Do you want to think about a call me back? Yeah, what's your extension? 233. Okay, give me a few. I'll call you back. Madam, come on. Call me back. My driver is going to already pass by in the opposite direction. You're going to call me back. It's going to be 39.50 if he drives another 50 miles. 27, that's it. Hold on one second. Make it 27.50 and send over the confirmation. No. 27. 50. It's four skids. I'm giving you Listen, a Listen, madam, we can't make 30% markup on every single load. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, okay? So you'll make 15%. That's okay. So pick up by 2 p.m. today? Yes. Okay, I'm sending it over. What email? Uh, it's 521228. Send it to dispatch at ettransport.ca. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. So my original load, 2650. My LTL load, 2750. Now I got 5400. That did not add even a single mile to my shipment, all right? It was on course. I told her my truck was about 200 miles away just so she can justify why she's paying me so much. 5400, divide that by 927 miles. Finally, 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 $5.80 per mile is what I'm getting for the shipment. Yes, I got to turn on the reefer. There's going to be reefer expense, but trust me, when you're doing $5.82 per mile, it's okay. Let that reefer work. Well, hopefully you learned something from this video. Remember, there's some key words for money-making words, okay? Anything that's time-sensitive, anything that's temperature-controlled, anything that requires a delivery appointment, these are key keywords that you can bill a lot more for. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Stay tuned for some more load booking videos. So guys, while I was doing that phone call, I already received three responses on my emails, okay? So the emails work. They are extremely powerful, okay? It cuts out of the BS. It goes straight to the point. You're inquiring about a load. They're sending you the information. So here's the Aurora, Illinois to Seagraves. It, gives, it tells me the pickup time, delivery time, the weight. Rate is 2,900. Now, let's map this out. We know that our truck is in Chicago, Illinois. One is going from Aurora, Illinois, and it's going to Seagraves, Texas. We have 1,218 miles, and this person is paying $2,900. So 2,900 divided by 1,218. Finally, we got a load paying $2.38 per mile. Okay, and this is off the emails, Aurora to Seagraves, Texas, guys. These notes are just for myself. Now, the ones going from Illinois going to Texas. Okay, we were able to get $2.38 per mile. That does keep us our head above water where we are profitable. Not so profitable, but we are profitable. So I have a truck in Appleton, Wisconsin on Monday. I would like to do a load paying at least $4 a mile. I'm going to push my maximum today to try to book a load at $4 a mile, somewhere around five to 700 miles. Let's see if we can do it together. Thank you for calling Ace Logistics. John speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Ronan ET. How are you? I am doing well. You're so? Good, good. Calling with that Gainesville, Wisconsin, going to Front Royal, Virginia. Oh, okay, you got the reference number for the load. Uh, reference ID 0577054. All right. Gainesville, Wisconsin, to Front Royal, Virginia. Yep. Uh, I do currently show that available. May I have your MC, please? 521228. Okay, one moment. And would you mind verifying the name of your carrier for me? Yeah, it's ET Transport. Okay, excellent. All right. So that picks up in Janesville on the 16th, I believe it's Tuesday at 10 a.m. and delivers in Front Royal, Virginia on the 18th at 8 a.m. That just uh, requires a 53-foot drive van that is carrying 39,565 pounds of food and beverage. Total distance of 758 miles. We are currently offering 2,400 for the load. 2,400? Yes, sir. Total, I have about 100 miles empty to get there. 261. Are you uh, flexible at all with the rate? Uh, what, what, what sounds like a good rate for you? I probably need 2,650. 2,650. I can at least put an offer in for you. Um, just a moment. Unlikely to come up to that as of right now, just because there's still a few days for her to pick up. Okay. But uh, if we don't have any takers at that rate, then um, yeah, we'll be reaching out. See if we can uh, agree to a closer agreement. What's the max they could do? You can approve it. What's the max you can approve it now for? 2400 24. Okay. You know what? I'll give you a call back if it works, but if not, you can put me on. Okay, sure thing. Like I said, I got this, uh, got the offer in for you at least. So, um, it's on the board for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. All right. No problem, man. You got it. Have a good one. All right. So we got $2 and 61 cents. That is not good enough. We really want to be above the $3 a mile, hopefully around $4 a mile, but let's continue on this journey. Stay tuned for the next load booking video. Since you guys all love to watch how I book loads. Well, today we got a truck in Appleton, Wisconsin, and we're trying to send them back south 
to Atlanta, Georgia. So come with me on my journey to book this loan. Good, good. Calling about that Fairburn, Georgia that you have out of De Pere, Wisconsin. Okay, this is picking up in De Pere, Wisconsin today at 4.30 p.m. Okay. Going to Fairburn, Georgia on the 7th at 8 a.m. It's going to okay. be for a drive-in. Uh, commodity is going to be drive food at roughly thirty-eight thousand dollars that way. Okay. What do you got for uh, what do you got for a rate? It's going to be twenty-four hundred on that rate. Twenty-four hundred. That gives me two point four three per mile. Do you have any wiggle room on the price? Uh, not too much. What would you be looking for on that one? Yeah, an extra two twenty-five on that. Twenty-six twenty-five. We could probably try twenty-five fifty for you on that. 50. Any way to make it 25.90? 25.90? I can put you on a quick hold and ask about that. Sure. 25.90 divided by 987 miles. We got $2.62 per mile. So this is more than what I thought I was going to get. 225 is what I wanted to get, but I guess I'm undershooting. Maybe things have gotten a little better in the U.S., but let's see if we can get that 25.90. Guys, don't be afraid to negotiate literally for every dollar, okay? All right. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Alrighty. So if we could do that twenty five seventy five. We're almost there. We can go ahead and get you on there. Um twenty five seventy five is fine. I just need to call the driver and make sure you can get in there be before four thirty today. Uh so I'm gonna call okay. you give me about five, seven minutes, I'm gonna call you right back, okay? Okay, yeah. If I don't answer, just shoot me over an email. Um, yeah. Yeah. I should be, you know, on the line. But uh just in case anything happens. Perfect. All right, thank you, sir. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye-bye. All right, guys, remember my rule. It doesn't matter how much money you get. Even if you got three fifty a mile, $4 a mile, never book the first call that you do because maybe even though he's paying $2 and what was that? Uh, let's see the exact rate that this guy's paying. He's paying $25.75 he agreed to divided by 960 miles. I already got $2.68 per mile, which is more than what I thought I was going to get. But still, don't book that truck, okay? Call number two, call number three. Maybe the going rate right now is $3 a mile and I'm getting a, a shitty rate for my truck. So don't ever book. It's okay to call the person back. Don't worry about it. That load is still gonna be there within four or five minutes, but let's see what else we got. What in the world is happening with freight rates? My God, I mean, you guys love to see videos on how to book loads. I'm gonna try to book a load from California to Texas, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a load going from Toronto, going to Texas. What kind of rates can I get on those two separate loads? Well, let's do it together. All right, so we're gonna try to book this load Stockton, California, going to Laredo, Texas. Let's see what this broker has to say. Let's get the best bang for our buck. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, man. What can I do for you? I'm calling about that Stockton, California to Laredo, Texas. Uh, yeah, brother. Picks up out of a Campo, California. Delivers to Laredo, Texas. And uh, we're paying 22 for that load. Sorry, where in California is the pickup? Uh, a Campo. Can you spell that? A-C-A-M-P-O. Uh, A-C what? A-C-A-M-P-O. A Campo. A Campo. Got it. A Campo. Okay, so Stockton, a Campo to Laredo. And it's paying 2200 Yeah, paying 22 Is that the best you can do on this load? Uh, that is my man, yeah. Hold on, let me just check what it is per mile. 2200 divide that by $1,779. That's $1.23 a mile, my friend. Uh, yeah. Got it. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem, bye. So, first load we got is $1.23 per mile. Stay tuned for some more load booking videos. Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm good, you? Good, Ronan, ET Transport. I was calling on your LTL from Atlanta, Georgia to Truro, Nova Scotia. Okay, that it has to be picked up by 3 p.m. today, without fail, must deliver by Wednesday. Okay. 10 skids, 48 by 40, very light, 2392, LBS total weight, 20 feet. Uh, receiving hours are first come, first serve, just call prior, 8 to 4. Got it. Okay. Uh, so pick up today before three. What are you looking to move it for? Um, what is your rate? My rate? 34, 35? No, no, no. I can't do that. It's 10 skids, right? Yeah. 20 feet. It's 2,000 miles. Okay. But you're looking at like a full truckload rate. No, come on. Full truckload rates are like 6,000 right now. Literally, I'm getting truckloads out there for 3,000. This is only 20 feet. There's so much more room in there. I could have sworn I've seen your posting for about two days now. No, no, no. This just popped up right now. Oh. Okay. Either you're going to take, do you want it? I do want it, but for a normal rate. 
I can't do that rate. 17 years in business. Come on, I'll give you even a tracker. You'll be able to track this thing all the way through. Listen, everybody has trackers nowadays. You're not the first company. Okay, so you want the tracker or you don't want the tracker? Listen, all the companies give it out. Tracker is nothing new. It's always there, so... Okay, can you do uh, 31? No, 29 is my highest. I'm getting rates of, you know, 27, 28. And it's an easy load. There's no appointments, general freight, nothing special about it. But it has to pick up without fail by 3 p.m. today. Give me one second, put you on mute. One second, hold on, okay? I love it when they say easy load. What do you mean easy load? You got to do a pickup. You got to do a delivery. Um, Okay, 2,900, 10 skids, 23. Are you sure about the weight? It seems very light. 2,392 pounds? Yeah. Okay. Customs brokers, we're going to get the customs paperwork. Yeah, I'll get everything to you. Can you email it to me? As soon as I have it. Perfect. Okay, good. Can you email me the confirmation at dispatch at ettransport.ca? Okay. And attention, Ronan? Yes. It's R-O-N-E-N. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. All right. So I've emailed three or four different people and I've also called three or four different people. You can see that, uh, you know, the Canadian postings, they're extremely not responsive. Both the extensions, the phone calling, the emails. I haven't received a single email. I personally don't understand why would you post a load if you're not going to be responsive to them. And this is what we Canadian carriers deal with all the time. Hello, Ronan speaking. Hey, Ronan. This is Brody from Gulick. How are you doing? Brody from where, sorry? Yeah, Gulick. We're talking about the Chicago to McAllen. Yep. Are you, the, you sound like the guy on the, the YouTube channel. That's me. All right, dude. Okay, so am I being recorded right now? <laughs> but wait, I have, to be, I have to be honest with you. I'm, fi- I'm filming right now. Okay, so are you, are you making fun of me for having a low rate? No, no, I don't make fun of people. I just, I just show them how, how bad it is out there. It's not about making fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So let me tell you, I do. I feel bad too. Okay, so it's just a Cortland to McAllen, and then it's pretty heavy. So it's forty-three. It's twenty-four pallet. Sometimes it's under, but it's safe to say it's forty-three. And probably Friday to Monday. Okay. First one, first serve, both in eight a.m. to three p.m. And then the, what I have in is two thousand six hundred and seventy-five. And that's best. That's not, not joking. Because I know who you are, and I wanted to call. And I saw his call, and I was like, dude, am I being recorded? I feel like I am. Twenty-six seventy-five. Got it. Okay. Let me just run the mile. What, what city is the pickup again in? Um, true city to true city. So okay, actually, it's not. So it is Cortland. It's Cortland, Illinois. Cortland, Illinois. Got it. And the delivery? Um, Nick Allen. But sometimes it's better not to be downtown Chicago. So some, this is this is good and bad. So it's a little out of the way, but downtown Chicago is hard. So I like to say I'm in mean, more like I got 14, 1481 on the miles. How much did you say it's paying for you, for your group? I'd give you everything on the lows, two thousand six hundred seventy-five. Let me just run the miles. Twenty-six seventy-five divided by fourteen eighty-one is a dollar eighty per mile. I got to make a few more phone calls just to make sure that the rate is okay. Uh, if it does work, I will call you within the next five or ten minutes and book the load with you. Okay. All right, thanks so much. Awesome, thank you. Bye bye. Stay tuned for the next load booking video. Say no to cheap freight, guys. Hello, this is Elliot. Hey, Ronan E.T., how are you? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Good, good. Calling about that Stewart Bint, Wisconsin to Leedsdale, PA. Uh, yeah, man. For Monday? Yeah. Uh, it's one pick, one drop. Uh, just as posted, uh, Stewart Bint to Leedsdale. Uh, currently has an 11 a.m. pickup appointment on that. Uh, would that be a problem for you? Nope. I got one first thing in the morning. Okay, cool. I better get you in a little bit sooner. Uh, delivery be the next day in Leedsdale. Uh, it is, uh, I believe it's 7 to 3, first come, first serve there. I might open at 8, so one of those two. They also 8 just to be safe. Uh, it's going to be 36,000 pounds, 56 pallets of, it's a combination of like grain and packaging materials. It's going to be a dry load, of course. And on that one, we can pay 1,500. Do they load both a van and reefer or just a dry van? Probably just a dry van, but I'm not 100% starting to be completely honest with you. Gotcha. And what did you say it's paying again? Uh, 1500 1500 I got a total mile of 656 to do this run. That's 228 per mile. It's a little bit low for me. Is that the best they can do? Uh, I mean, I could do 1550 for you, man, but that's uh, kind of what they gave me to go off. I quartered up off that and said the rate was 1530 so... Got it. It's 236 a mile. Okay. Uh, let me make a few more phone calls if I, uh, and I'll uh, circle back to you. Okay. Sounds good. My name is Elliot, extension 108. Extension 108. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Bye bye. All right. So let's recap this uh, this call. Stewart, Wisconsin to Leedsdale, PA. Uh, my truck in Appleton, I got a total of 656 miles. Now he wants to pay 1550 which is $2.36 per mile. I think that's a little bit short. I like the mileage that's 656 miles. I could do that in, you know, a full day from pickup today and then deliver tomorrow 
maybe I could deliver, you know, after lunch or I could do 656 miles in one day uh, or a day and a quarter. But again, $2.36 per mile. I'm just not having it. I want a little bit more than that. All right, guys, tomorrow I have a truck in Atlanta, Georgia, and the rates are horrible. They're currently right now for full loads, $22, $2,300. It's not good enough for me. I decided to LTL this driver back home. So I want you to see how much I was able to pack LTL and what these rates are coming back at, how much money I actually got going from Atlanta to the GTA. So here we have five skids from Jonesboro, Georgia, going to North York, Ontario, Mableton, Georgia, going to St. Laurent, Atlanta, going to Milton, Ball Ground, Georgia, going to Concord, Canton, Georgia, going to Brampton, Mascot, Tennessee, going to Hamilton. Here's me mapping it out. You can see here in the map that I routed it. I started off all the way at the bottom in Jonesboro, and then we ended up in Mascot, and then from Mascot, we went into the GTA. But you can see here, 53 foot of trailer. Instead of the $22, $2,300, I was able to get $4,890. And if you're interested in it, I'll actually show you how I book this LTL and how I play Tetris inside that trailer. So stay with me on this journey and make sure you follow along. Hello. Hey, Ronan ET, how are you? Good, Ronan, how are you? Good, good. Calling about the Markham 2 Moncton, New Brunswick. I think LTL, yeah. 10 skids? Yeah, I still got it. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's uh, 10 skids, 15,000 pounds, 20 feet. Uh, packaging material. First come, first serve at the pickup. If you can pick up tomorrow, that would be great. If uh, you can't, the next day is fine. Just need to know. Make sure you get in there. And uh, delivery is uh, into Moncton. It uh, requires a lumper and it's an appointment. Uh, by appointment. You can make your own appointment or I can make it for you. As long as you don't deliver in two weeks from now. No, no. I, uh, three day transit is what I have, but if it's delivery, I'd like to do it on the fourth day. There's an appointment with lumper service. Yep. Uh, I'll yeah. reimburse you. I'll get you, as long as you give me the receipt, I'll reimburse you the lumpers. Perfect. What are we talking about? How much? 10 skids? What's the weight? 1,600. 1,600 pounds or 1,600 is the rate? 1,600 is the rate. Oh, wow. Uh, what's the weight? 1,600. One, but the weight no, is 10, sorry, uh, sorry, 15,000 pounds. 15,000 pounds. Of Almost half, almost half a load, yeah. I need about 23, 24 to make it work. Oh, I, I can't go that high. Uh, what, what is the commodity? What is it? It's packaging material. What's the value? Yeah, I think it's about, it's about fifteen thousand dollars, something like that, roughly. Maybe a little more, yeah. twenty thousand. Okay. Uh, how close can you get to twenty-three? You can fall in the middle. Let's do, uh, I don't know. What do you want to do? Nineteen? Nineteen fifty? No, let's do nineteen. <laughs> it makes it fair for both of them. Give me one second. Pick up today tomorrow. There's no pickup appointment, right? Just a delivery appointment. No, pickup is first come, first serve, just delivery, yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's fine. For 10 skids, I'll make it happen. No problem. Uh, can you send the confirmation to dispatch at ettransport.ca? Yeah, you'll see it in 10 minutes. No problem. Perfect. You have a setup, right? Yeah, I got you in the system. It's all good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ronan. Bye. Bye. That's Brent. Can I help you? Hi, Ronan E.T., how are you? Good, what can I do for you? Calling about that Appleton, Wisconsin, going to Indianapolis. Which day are you looking at, sir? I have trucks there every day, so when, when is it available? I've got one on the 17th and one on the 19th. Uh, I'll go for the, the one on the 17th. It's a load of dairy in totes, so it's liquid in totes, 15 totes, weighs 42,075 pounds. Actually loading in Nina, it's about six miles south of Appleton. Picks up on the 17th, first come, first serve, 7 to 5. We got one stop in Indy that'll come off on the 18th at 5 a.m. No lumpers, 11.50 to the truck on. 11.50, 384 miles, $3 a mile. Is that the best you can do with the rate? Yep, that's where I need to be, my friend. Okay, uh, I will give you a call back if it works, but thank you. Okay, man, thank you. All right, so just to summarize, we got a dollar, we got three dollars a mile, we got 384 miles. Uh, my truck is in Appleton, going to Nina, Wisconsin, going to Indianapolis, Indiana. Delivery, uh, 1150 with the rate, it's three dollars a mile, but it's only 384 miles. I feel like the driver could do a little bit more than that in one day. I am certain that my driver would appreciate something just a little bit longer, around the five, 550, 575 miles. So let's continue looking.